Photography is a unique blend of conceptualization, artistry, and technical. Some people are very good on the technical side, but when it comes to putting images together, the, the artist, the artistic, the conceptual, it's hard for them. Other people intuitively can compose well, they can composite pictures well, but then when it comes to Photoshop and the technical aspects of it, it's hard for them to, to get past that. This DVD is going to address both of those. I love Photoshop. I love putting images together. I love taking an image that is good and making it awesome, or an image that is not so good and making it awesome as well. So the following pictures um, will give you an insight into how my mind works conceptually, and I will go step by step through the entire procedure. So if you're not as strong in Photoshop as you'd like to be, you're going to learn a whole bunch of techniques from basic concepts to much more advanced uh, ideas using layers and layer masks, and you'll be able to see what you can do with your pictures by looking at what I'm doing with mine. The point of this DVD is to stimulate your creativity, to give you the tools to do what you can think in your mind, or if you have a problem looking through your pictures and seeing how they can work together, it'll give you some great ideas of what you can do with your own work. In Photoshop, there are many, many shortcuts. There are keyboard shortcuts, there are uh, other kinds of shortcuts, and I think one of the most important to learn and know how to do are the shortcuts you can make in the Actions Palette. So let me show you how to do that. The Actions Palette is right here, and on your monitor, if it's not open, you can use the pull-down menu, Window, Actions, and that will open up the Actions Palette. You've actually got the history palette and the actions right here. So let's talk about the actions right now. What the action palette does is it'll, it gives you a button. Instead of going to a menu and doing this and then doing this, uh, or so, sometimes there's uh, you go here and then here and then here. It's, again, time consuming and more hand movements. So all you have to do is make a little button here and that brings up the dialog box so you don't have to go to the pull down menu. To make an action, you begin with this little icon in the upper right hand corner of the, of the palette. You click on it and you go to button mode. It gives you this kind of box right here. Then you use the same little icon and now you go new action. I'm going to put a new action in here, one that I use frequently, and that is black and white. Black and white is a way that you can convert color pictures into black and white. It gives you all kinds of options. We'll talk about that later. So I'm going to name it black and white, and I'll choose a color for the button, oh, let's say blue. If you want to choose a function key, you can do it right here. These correlate to the F keys on your keyboard. I'm not going to do it because I don't use them. I go record. Now the next thing you do is you go with the same little icon and you choose insert menu item. When you type in black and white or any of the other actions that you use all the time, that puts the name of the action on the button but it doesn't tell Photoshop what, what you're doing or what you want. Now with insert menu item you're telling Photoshop exactly what the command should be connected to. So I'm going to go image adjustments, black and white, right there. I click OK, and then I go with the same little icon, stop recording. If I don't do stop recording, and I keep choosing actions, Photoshop will do them sequentially. So if you typically use two or three actions at one time, you could just keep doing them and doing them, and then go stop recording. So now I go back to button mode, and there's black and white right there. So now I can choose black and white. It brings up the dialog box of the black and white command in Photoshop. Okay, that's how we make actions 
and I'm sure that you'll find it extremely useful.